Last week on the season. Pro mindset. Pro mindset. Pro mindset. Pro mindset. Pro mindset. Everyone wants to be a pro in life, but it's not just about the NFL. It's about on and off the field. You get asked all the time, okay, what do those great players have in common? They're not distracted. They're extremely focused on being great. Monday was game day. If you're a competitor, Tuesday was game every day. It shouldn't be that big a difference between Monday and what we're doing right now and what you're going to do on Saturday. We're back at it, man. It's showtime. It's showtime. Let's go. And the Rebels are going to go for it on fourth down. There's the snap. Corral keeps it off the left side. He's got the first down. Trouble and sacked back at the 39-yard line. Fires in the end zone. Caught right under the goal post. Touchdown, Elijah Moore. Play action. Fire over the middle. Popped up in the air. Intercepted by John Haynes of Ole Miss. And touchdown, Jonathan Mingo. And the Rebels are definitely back in it now. Yeah, give us a little singing. You know, I was thinking I was going to pass the mic to you and let you and let you do a little tune. I think Jack Probst can sing. Jack, oh, fun fact: Jack Probst is the best musician on this football team. It's true. No, I am not. I am not being humble at all. You are amazing. Who's a better musical performer, John Rice Bowling or Jack Probst? Oh man, that's a tough one. Both of those guys are so extremely talented. I don't. I don't know. I mean, Jack, he, he can play the guitar and he can sing, but John Rice, he plays the piano and he, he can sing as well. I mean, heck, you put both of those guys together, you, you got a new <laughs> big-time hit band. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. We'll have to ask him. Maybe a competition. We'll have to see what happens. Oh, Jack Probst. That dude is he's, he's something special. I, I mean, I, I don't know an instrument that he can't play. He's, he's super talented. I don't wish anything bad upon I don't even know if you wish I was there right now But I do, if you do Roll up, show up, come through Jack Probst has suited up for the Rebels for the past four years. But he hasn't snapped out of his Music City roots. If you love me, you will show me. I don't care for moving slowly. If you love me, you I mean, I always just grew up singing and stuff, and then I picked up the the guitar, um, like going into my senior year of high school. He does everything from the bass to the piano, whether there would be a guitar in it, in the vocals. I mean, he does it all, you know. It kind of started out as a joke, you know. I was I was kind of jabbing fun of him, but I think then we realized like he's <laughs> he's pretty good. He can play. Like you no, know people say some people can play. Jack can actually play. He can play. You can ask most people. I'm just humming all the time. That's how my family is too. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Back it around, cause that's how we do around here. This I want is a to get, great way to get your podcast out there, honestly. Yeah, bro, I'm not even, I mean, I guess it is. You're not going to do it. I'm going to promote your podcast. Okay, you can. Post practice with pros <laughs> Stop, on Spotify. Bro, on Spotify. <laughs> bro, I'm not even, the, the music is what I'm trying to do. Though special teams may not always be in the spotlight, the senior long snapper is as natural on stage as he is on the field. I would be a lot more nervous than Jack. Jack doesn't get nervous when he goes up on stage. So that's like one quality that I admire of him, that he oh, can just thanks, stay bro. composed through all of that. And um, I've been to a couple of Jack shows, obviously, and every time it just seems like it's just like the same as just sitting in the back bedroom with him playing music at his house. Have you been filming this whole thing? <laughs> Thank you.
Mom sang country music. Dad does magic, public speaking stuff. I didn't realize growing up that that was really different until I got older and I'm like, wait, your parents uh, don't just do like random stuff, you know what I mean? So uh, it's definitely a blessing and I'm thankful for it because it's made me who I am, you know? Jack has his own little sound that he's got. He's got his own little twang. I, I don't know who I would compare it to. Jack's music, like his voice portrays the music, just portrays the lyrics really, really well. try to sound like me, you know? I just sing the way I sing, and uh, I guess you could you could compare it to some people, but I try not to. He writes a lot, and writes a lot of lyrics and his own music, so it's fun to see him take those pieces and kind of mix it into his own sound. So it's very unique to Jack, and it's something you kind of have to just, just hear for yourself. Okay. This one I wrote this summer with a couple buddies, which I rarely ever do. I don't ever write songs to other people, but this one I did, so here we go. There's no rules whenever, that's what's great about it. You know, you can just kind of sit down and uh, there's all kinds of different ways of writing. People, ought to, they'll ask, and do you write the words first, the music first, um, and sometimes it's words first, sometimes it's music first. A lot of times they just come at the same time. We had a lot of jam out sessions. We did. He loves to come over. He'll he'll help. He'll he'll jump in on the writing stuff. Yeah, we'll just kind of make up some rhymes. Even some. at practice, if you hear us, we're ever just yeah, we're kind of just just making off. literally just, the whole time. We got like two periods where we really need to lock in. Yeah, and the rest is kind of like a consistent freestyle of <laughs> rap and screaming and jumping around. Yeah. We've been trying to get on Jack to, you know, just maybe like put us in a song or something, just get our like featuring Luke and Matt, like, you know, with, with one of these songs. But unfortunately, I don't have that musical, that musical inclination like Jack does. just be the one man band of Jack and it would just be like us with like a triangle or like a little tambourine or something. And we're good with that. You know, Jack can take the show on that because he doesn't get enough credit on the on the football field for what he does. So we'll let Jack be the one man band and we'll just kind of be the hype guys, maybe with the towels or the mic, kind of like, yeah, yeah, something like that, you know? It's a really nice yin and yang, like you said, because here it's it's work, work, work. It's like a different mentality. Um, and so when you have that opportunity to sit back, and for me, it's playing music, it's just kind of soaking everything in, you know? It's just like you're in that moment and nothing else really matters. And so if I'm snapping a football and I'm running on a football field, um, that's, that's, that's equally as liberating um, as if I'm on stage playing a song because it's like nothing else in that moment matters except for what's happening right now. And that's what's great about it. Um, that's a great question because uh, because I'm not planning on stopping long snapping either, so I'll try to keep both going, you know? Maybe the long snapping singer, we'll see. He's one of the greatest guys you'll ever meet, one of the greatest friends I could ask for, and probably the best snapper that I could have ever wished for to have, you know, have me snapping the ball to me. It's, it's gonna be fun to see where he goes from here, but he's gonna make it big time. You can, you can mark my words, it's gonna be Jack Probst, and, and everyone's gonna hear about him.
thanks for coming, guys. I really appreciate it. Really, seriously, thank y'all so much. Scoot, we're, we're still hot over here, boys. Let's see who this is. Who's is this in the Douglas? The Douglas pads. I'm unsure. Hey, whoever has whoever has those pads is buddy. No good. No, it ain't that Florida weather. You see, I got a thermal. It's all right though. It ain't too bad. It ain't too bad today. I still wait for the sun to come out. I'm federal. I'm federal today. You might up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna talk a lot today though. I'm gonna talk a lot today. <laughs> well, why it look like that? You don't put no hair. You can't put nothing in? What you put in your hair? Is that how it's supposed to look? What you put in your hair? I gotta get it retwisted. <laughs> yeah, we need to get it retwisted. <laughs> you put narrow. That means you get going, man. So, we going inside foot, so back, back with the other. We in foot. And now, do, you, do what you've been doing, because you're stepping flat. That's only, it's only on one side, though. Yeah, we. So, I'm here, I'm yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Put that foot back. I'm here. So, I'm moving my feet. And then over like this. Then you And then come on. Yes. I got to get this on camera. Tell the people I'm smoother than you. What's that? You way smoother than you. <laughs> on him. On him. On him. On him. Man, I ain't grab you. Nah, I'm gonna distract y'all a little bit. You about to get hit in the head. Watch out. Watch out, nah. Hey, man. It's done. Oh, yeah. No, you're not. Oh. I miss you. Oh, yeah. Shout out to mom, dude, man. I ain't mean to do that. Grandma, too. Miss you. Love you. October is reserved for the Fall Classic. And for a matchup with Auburn, Lane Kiffin wanted his group to bring a baseball mentality to the vault. Oh, he looked good in it. I think he might have to uh, come see a game one day. He's never been to a game. Honestly, he didn't know where the baseball field was when he first got here. Like, how do you not see the baseball field? I got to take care of my home state, man. Forget Alabama. We in the sip, man. Let's take care of Benny. Let's take care of Benny. First drive, two four. Two I shot. got number nine for the... He gonna run a 50 yard touchdown. You already know what we gotta do it. I don't really gotta say nothing. Family on three, family on three, one, two, three. Family. family. No more plan to win, no one thing we all have. What is this about? Wow. Yes, it's about having fun. It's about playing your ass off for the guy next to you. understand me? Yes, it's full ass effort. We know how to do it now. Let's go do it. Matt Corral and Jerry and Ely in the backfield. Ely, two sports star at Ole Miss, also plays baseball. And here's a keeper by Corral. Enough legs to keep him honest and pick up a first down, converting a second and 15. And this is just an embarrassment of riches, right? We're talking about the more athletic quarterback that needs to get in. And oh, Matt Corral says, wait, hold my beer. Look at this. Quickly snap again. Hand off to Ely off right tackle. And he's wrestled down at the 36. We'll have a couple yards on that one. Big hole on the right side for Snoop Cotter. And he's blasting dudes inside the 10. It's a 19-yard run. He went right through Jordan Peters at the 5. We saw Matt Corral with the big run. The Jerry on Ely bounces off the guy. And oh, by the way, they got a number three as well named Snoop Cotter, who's a heck of a player as well. The speed rushing attack put Corral and the Rebs in scoring position. But the Tigers were determined to get off the field. Third and goal, looking to throw. In zone. Intercepted. Picked up by McCreary, and he's going to try to bring it out. So tough break for the Rebels. Now Auburn's going to come back from the five, right up the gut. They get across the 10 to the 15. Nicks to the slant. Fantastic hands and a first down grab. That's Seth Williams, and that's what makes him so good. It's a pickup of 13. Straight ahead, Tank Bigsby is in. It's a four-yard touchdown run, and Auburn takes the lead thanks to the ground game. This Ole Miss offense got to try and get something going. I mean, this this, this turnover bug, no good. See the different change, though, Richard, right here. Yep, quarterback, quarterback change. John Rice Plumlee will come in at quarterback. 
I think they only have 10 on the field defensively right now. Here's Plumlee straight ahead. Now they had 11, and he beat all 11 of them. John Rice Plumlee to the outside and brought down by a shoelace. It's a 35-yard sprint. Let's see if they get him outside the pocket. They do. He throws in to the end zone for a touchdown. A six-yard strike to Elijah Moore. Let's go! Let's go! Great job, great job, both of y'all. In the air to the slant, Seth Williams has a hurdle! Wow, what a play by the junior. Knicks keeps it, tucks it, and he finds the end zone. Zone read, and it's a four-yard touchdown run for Knicks. Rebels immediately go to the line of scrimmage. Third and one from the five. Fake to Ely, Corral keeps it, and he walks in untouched, just like Knicks on the other end. Touchdown, Ole Miss. The first half saw four touchdown drives of 75 yards or more, and both defenses made sure every inch was earned. Big play for the Rebels. Can they get them stopped on third down? Haven't had a lot of luck today. Auburn five of six. There's the snap. Bo Nix in the pocket again. Runs to his left. Wants to throw. He's going to keep it run, and he's pushed out of bounds. Hey, the game's tied, all right? Okay, right where we want them. All right? They will give up, but you've got to force them to give up. All right? You got to hit him in the mouth. We got to play more physical. Keep running the ball downhill, and he's got. Let's finish this thing. Everybody all in. One half. Let's go. Team on three. One, two, three. Two. Score tied 14-14. Connor finds room on the edge. And a first down run for the Rebels. Snap back to Corral. Fakes to Snoop. He wants to throw. He's got his man wide up on the sidelines. It's caught by Yaboa. He's down to the 40, the 30. Breaks the tackle. Runs into one of his own men that slows him down all the way to the 10 and wrestled down there. Corral and Connor in the backfield for Ole Miss. Another huge opportunity. Corral's got it, nobody sees him. He'll get his second rushing touchdown of the game. The Rebels used just three big plays to take the lead, but Auburn answered with big swings of their own. Nix pulls it back, flush. Play action, Nix runs to his right. Throws on the run, deep ball, jump ball. Down at the one. Shivers, touchdown Auburn, and the Tigers with the answer. Bigsby, left side, stiff arm, dive, touchdown Auburn. What a play by the freshman from 18 yards out. Fumbled, and they don't get the PAT. That could be huge. We've everything you got on this field right now. This drive, we've everything you got. Ball on the left hash, first and 10 for the Rebels from their own 23-yard line. It's going to be a handoff to Snoop Connor, who's the running back. And Snoop working off the right side, pushes it out to the 30. Gets it to Ely this time. Busts through the hole. And right into the safety for another first down run for Jerry and Ely. That one's for 13. Snoop Connor now in the game. Handoff to Snoop. He goes off left tackle. Gets good blocking to the 25 and gets to the 20-yard line. Moore's knocked off his feet there. Brown going to throw it again. Here's Mingo, gathers, takes it inside the 10 and lowers his shoulder to the five. First and goal from the five yard line. Done formation, there's the snap. Handoff straight ahead into the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss! It's Jerry and Ely and the Rebels are a PAT away from taking the lead. Logan, one after, good, and Ole Miss with the lead. Yeah, pocket block two on the perimeter. Bo Nix will lead the Auburn offense on the field with a chance to be the hero. From the 20 is where Auburn will start. Empty set for Bo Nix. Here comes a four-man rush. He steps up in the pocket. He's going to be tackled from behind. The Rebels get the sack out of Sam Williams as he drops him back at the 16-yard line, a loss of four. Under two minutes to go, 84 yards to go. Nix to the outside. Eli Stove up the sideline and out of bounds. Nix sideline shot. Seth Williams has it and he's free down the sideline. Touchdown, Auburn, 58 yards. 
Oh, my goodness. Tough break there for the Rebels. And Auburn will go for two to try to make up for the PAT. They didn't get a moment ago. There's a snap. And the quarterback, Nix, runs to his right, throws in the end zone, and it is caught for the two-point conversion. Nix to Williams, and Auburn has the lead. The late score and two-point conversion by the visiting Plainsmen turned out to be all they needed to escape Oxford with the win, leaving the Rebels to contemplate yet another razor-thin loss. All right, guys, this is getting really old really fast. The inability to finish games off. Another tie game at half, take the lead, offense and defense can win the game. Defense stops them, offense gets the ball back, make three first downs, the game's completely over. You know, people ask about learning to win. It's not a magic formula. It's about executing throughout the game more plays than they do. When we talked about we were going to be the physical program, all right, in this matchup, and it was there to happen, all right? Ran the ball over 270 or something today like that. So it's there to happen, but you have to finish it off, especially when you get the ball back. Guys, we've got to learn to win, to make plays in critical situations. You know, we didn't get it done. We need to go back to work, and like, like I said, that's really all we, that's all we really can do, and it still doesn't go your way. You know, like, all you can do is just keep going. That's, that's it. Like, as I tell them right now is where we got to come, come close. You know, we can't, we can't separate, we can't stop or start pointing the finger. This is, this is a time where we need to be as close as, ever, as we ever been. It's really what the defense wants, you know, to have the game on us, but at the end of the day, we did, we, that's, we got what we wanted and we didn't finish, so I feel like that's, that's a hard thing. Very disappointing loss. Um, you know, kind of different than the other ones that, as far as having the lead late. <sighs> tough one to swallow. Probably tougher than, than the other ones, um, you know, because it was right there. 